a beautiful, beautiful beep. How's everybody doing today on Saturday, December the 14th? That's right. I'm going to, it's a, such a beautiful day up here. Damn thing. And, uh, Man, I, I just couldn't help coming outside and, and uh, enjoying this beautiful day. It's calm, a light wind. It's about 65, I'd imagine. I will need to go in and put something on my feet, though. A little chilly on this porch. Uh, well, today I'm going to be doing uh, part three challenge of the uh, Robusto challenge that Phil had uh, challenged me on. He sent me five cigars and he wants me to identify which one was the Bolivar Royal Corona. And he says, I've smoked these, oh man, I need to get my computer. I've smoked uh, every one that he sent me. He said I've, I've smoked them. And so, uh, yeah, according to my wife, like I said last time, she has indicated that uh, I've been cheating because I don't know what they are, but for the tasting notes, I'll look up out of the 10 cigars that he sent me and kind of see if I could identify which one and well she calls it cheating and well I uh, yeah I'm gonna continue doing so oh I have a shout out let me show you who I got here I have the smoking uh, preacher that's right. Hey, I appreciate you uh, stopping in uh, on my last uh, video and also uh, my first cigar. They, uh, yeah, give a couple of shout outs. Also, on the last video, I made a mistake when editing. I didn't put my, um, well, I'm going to roll on that clip right quick while I like this thing. So before I begin, I have a couple of shout outs here. I have Doug. He's with the uh, Curmudgeon Piper and the Garbage Man Piper. The Garbage Man, I'm going to call him Bob. He always calls me Mike for some reason. <laughs> I think for a year he's been calling me Mike. I'm like, man, who, who the hell is Mike? Kind of a snug draw. It uh, feels there may be a little bit of a plugging issue. It's very firmly packed and it's kind of hard right here, but when you hear your lip whistle, you know it's, uh, it's a little tight. So let's look at the skin. Let's see if we can get in and zoom here on this here skin. Um, yeah. Kind of a sweet aroma. Man, a good light tobacco smell. And, uh, yeah, so let me go get my computer so that I can cheat. There's a plug. This one. It 
Mm. Starting off with a good creamy note. And a hint of like a vanilla or something. Just to kind of go over the rules here, he said enclosed is a sampler of five Cuban Robustos numbered one through five, and I am now on three. Below are the po 10 possible choices. The St. Louis Ray, the Partagas Cyridine number four, that was number two, I think is what he had said. Uh, Cohiba Robusto, El Rey de Mundo, a Hoya de Monterey Epicure number two. A Vegas Robana. Damn. A Bolivar Royal Corona. Romeo Julieta H. Upman. And a Ramon Illinois specially selected. The first one was. Uh, Hoya de Monterey Epicure number two. The second one was the Partagas Series D number four. And so what we have left is a St. Louis Ray, a Cohiba, El Rey de Mundo, Vegas Robana, a Bolivar Royal Corona, Romeo Julieta, H. Upman, and uh, Ramon Illinois. So. My job is to see if I can pick a Bolivar out of this lineup. So, all right. Well, <clears throat> while, uh, while I get into this, I will ask, have y'all ever looked in your humidors or your little uh, uh, cellars and found that you're missing either cigars or some pipe tobacco. Well, I, I, I looked through my humidor and man, there was several cigars missing. I'm like, what the hell? I even asked my wife, damn near accused her to be real, if she's uh, smoking, you know, when I'm at work. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I told her, I said, Dad, I'm missing some. Like, man, I'm missing some. Um, Rocky Patel's, my father's, freaking, um, man, all kinds of cigars. Uh, anyway, she said, uh, you probably smoked them. I said, no, I, I think I remembered that. She said, well, you, you know what that means. And I said, no, she said, that's the early signs of, you know, old age. All right, so let's get into this. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, I am concerned a little bit about this. Uh, well, shit, stop messing with it. Um, and construction is, the burn is very good. I cannot even see that. Burn is good. The construction isn't, it's starting to crack a little bit. Uh, but whatever. Yeah, it's a real smooth cigar. Uh, creamy, oily on the lips. All right, 
I'm going to get into this and I'll come back when there's a change in the tasting notes. I had to touch it up a couple of times. <clears throat> I'm still getting some uh, a real creamy texture, oily texture, if you will, on the lips especially. In the back of my throat, it seems like there's a, a tingle back there. Uh, still a plug, but I think it's starting to work out. Um, I think it's right at the plug, but we'll see. One of the things that uh, I did notice <clears throat> that it's starting to trans transition to if you guys ever uh, got any like uh oh what the hell is it called like a it at the store they'll sell like bags of dried fruit <clears throat> but they're not sweet uh, per se but it, it kind of reminds me of like the bag dry fruit that's been dried. <laughs> uh, whatever. I will look into this. <clears throat> um, uh, Phil said, uh, not going to blame you if uh, you miss this one it's a bad example so whatever cigar this one is he feels that i may not get because of the of the issue but one of the things that i do know is that uh the tasting notes are uh are consistent with a bolivar um, because Bolivars are a creamy, the Bolivar, let me say this right, the Bolivar Royal Corona is a very creamy texture. It's a light cigar. I'm really thinking this one is it, even though I'm not even down to the, uh, to the halfway point, but it, that's what it reminds me of, um, right off the bat. And I had I had a royal, some Royal Coronas before, They're real good. But I don't remember any dried fruit. I just remember the strong creamy texture. And let me look up. Pardon the cheating. Let's do the process of elimination. <clears throat> Is this a St. Louis Ray? Uh, so, of all of the cigars I smoked in Cuba last week, this one was the most disappointing. An overpowering burnt coffee espresso flavor. This is not it. Let's go to another review. All right. Not a St. Louis Ray. What was the other one here? Cohiba Robusto, Cohiba. Man, that's a good hit right there. Uh, Robusto, it's not really sweet. All right, this could be the uh, Cohiba. I'll come back. Well, I've got to say, I still have some burn issues there. The ass is hanging on pretty good. Uh, let me just touch that side up. Well, here's what I've learned so far. I'm getting into the deep into the second half here and second, third, whatever you call it but the profile seems to be consistent with the creamy note um there is some 
I'm going to say dried fruit. What reminds me of dried fruit? And uh, and there's a again there's creaminess on the tongue and the lips. There's an aftertaste or something in the back of the throat, which is staying there. It's not a big problem because I, I'm kind of digging it. Um, maybe a, maybe it's kind of a tingly. You know, on the back of the throat, so it could be some uh, light spice or mild pepper, something like that. That said, there's that earthy taste, and when I'm when I'm talking about an earthy taste, it's like a, like how you would think light dirt would taste. Not to, and that's probably a bad example, but um, if you've ever smelt like a, you know, so dirt. It kind of gives that flavor profile, just earth. I can't explain it. So uh, I did some research. I looked and looked, and because <clears throat> it is a plug issue, I may get this wrong, but this is the Bolivar Royal Corona. It's consistent with the tasting notes. Uh, of course, I'm drinking hot chocolate too, so that, well, a little, a little cold chocolate now. Mm. But, <clears throat> hey, if I'm wrong, Phil said he'd forgive me. <laughs> he actually said, uh, not gonna blame you if you miss this one. It was a bad example because of the plug. And I actually thought I passed the plug but it's just not token good. That's a Bolivar. That's a Bolivar. I know what it is. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna make this any longer. That's my choice, this. I think is the Bolivar Royal Corona. All right. I appreciate y'all sticking around Crosby's Corner. It certainly means a lot. And uh, I won't keep you guys any longer, so stay safe. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you soon.